Hi there, this is Wendy Chisholm, and this is a tutorial on how to help you get online with Engage Learning and uh, create an account and learn how to access the ebook and a handful of other curricular activities and information that would be very useful for you to be successful in CBiz One class. Okay, so if you see here, um, I went to logins.engage.com, but in your book, the orientation book on page 0 37 and on the little pamphlet that came shrink wrapped with the book that you bought, has a key code and instructions there as well on how to create an account. But I'm going to walk you through it real quick. So go to login.cengage.com if you're a new student. Go ahead and uh, click on new student. And then you're going to use that course key and add that in there. And then hit register. And when you click on register, it's going to walk you through your name, uh, maybe your teacher's name. It might ask you to put a, a class with your account. You don't have to do that right now. And basically, use your own email, create your own email, create your own password, and write it down. Put it down in your book somewhere so you don't forget it because I can't help you retrieve that. You'll have to deal with tech support if you lose that information. Okay, so once you've created an account, you'll, you'll be at login, sendgage, um, brain com, And you can see I have my account already logged in. When I log in right now, it's going to be a little different than what you see because I have an instructor account, but don't worry about it. Um, you'll see what I, you'll see what I mean when I get there. You'll want to add a resource to your account. Make sure you put this information in there. The uh, name of the book and perspectives on computer concepts and the ISBN number. What you're wanting to look for is this course mate. Somewhere is it, where is this course mate for your account? It should look something like this. This area right here is going to be different for you because you're a student. This, this is my instructor account. It might say add a course. And, and in a couple of weeks, I will give you information in our Moodle system or, or, or any other online system I'm teaching you with. What I want you to concentrate on is over here to the left is the table of contents of the book and all the parts that come with it in the table of uh, supplements that come with it. But you can find the orientation online here down at the bottom. And this is here, this here is for, um, Apple Mac users. You may want to look at that if you are a Mac user. And I am a Mac user too. So if you need help, uh, make sure you just email or call me if you run into trouble. This is kind of made for a Windows operating system. Over here is this chapter. You can see this here on up top at the left up here. I'm going to go to chapter three. Just click on it a couple times. And you'll see in the center here, we'll provide you information. The click here button, this, or link, is where you want to do to actually, uh, open up the ebook. We'll get to that in a second. Pre-quiz is a very useful tool for you to take to see what kind of information you already know before you even start reading. I think it's awesome. Your quick check quizzes and your summary quizzes and your situation quizzes will really help you with your homework, uh, and to get the right answers. I have been known to give chapter quizzes and projects. This overview, learning objectives, glossary, flashcards, and games are for you to enhance your learning experience with the information per chapter. Each chapter has different information. Okay, so let's get to the ebook. Uh, click here, ebook, chapter three. Let's go. You'll see in the textbook, it's different than what's given to you in that little CD content thing that came shrink wrapped. Uh, there is no CD. If you want to make a CD, you have to follow the instructions with uh, Cengage. So I wouldn't re recommend doing that. I would just recommend getting online and using the ebook the way I've showed you how to open it. Up here on top, if you click on contents, it gives you all the chapters through orientation all the way through uh, glossaries and all the try it answers. There you go. This search here is for keywords. Say, for example, this is a software chapter. Type in Java and hit enter. 
and it's going to give you all the pages in the text or the ebook where you can find that word. And if you click on one of these, it'll directly take you to that page in the ebook. And by the way, the ebook and the physical textbook that you have are 100% identical. Your back page is up here in the top, this little arrow, and then you have your forward page. And I'm taking you to the end of chapter two. Over here it tells you chapter two. If you haven't noticed in our textbook, the chapters are color coded for easy access. The learning objectives and checkpoints are um, concepts that I use in discussions and quizzes and in our final. So you may want to pay attention to that. Um, prior to that, here's our interactive uh, situation questions. Here we go. So the interactive situation questions here has nine questions. Uh, basically, uh, label your work, interactive situation questions, number them, and then just write the answer. You don't need to type out the entire question. Uh, going back a couple pages to the interactive summary questions. There they are. Same thing here. You don't have to type out the whole thing, but you do have to do all sections for all interactive summaries. This is your homework assignment every week for every chapter we cover in our course. Okay, let's talk about labs. If I assign a lab, it's coming from the textbook. It's not coming from an activity here on Cengage. So here on page 112, there's a new perspectives lab called benchmarking. In this lab you'll learn and it gives you the objectives of what you'll learn in your lab and then you'll have questions which are here one through five. 99.9% uh, .9 of the time you never have to perform number one of the lab. I usually assign the page number and then I tell you two through five or two through three so pay attention to that when in our online on our other online platform. I do not collect tracking reports. That's nothing I take from you, so don't worry about it. Just skip past it. So let's go to page 95. I want to show you some really cool, useful reasons why you want to actually get to and want to actually read your information on the ebook rather than the physical book page. Here we go. So on page 95 in the textbook, if you're reading just from the text, you would only see a photo of this. But reading it on an ebook online, you actually get a video and you can learn a little bit more and a little bit more in depth about some of the information that you may be very interested in. Watch. Expansion cards give your computer additional input and output options for networking and peripheral devices. To insert an expansion card, turn the computer off. So you get the idea. Uh, I would recommend everybody to read the e uh, use the ebook when studying for our course. <clears throat> okay, well, that's pretty much it. I have shown you how to create an account, how to log in, and how to access the ebook, and uh, kind of gone over the basics of the Sengage.com course mate information. Thank you. This is Wendy Chisholm, and look forward to having other tutorials for you.